welcome back to my channel. So today's tutorial is on this look right here and I did all of my face makeup off of camera mainly to speed up the time of the video and I really just wanted to focus on the eyes. If you guys can see it is a really pretty like smoky eye with color in there. There are reds and oranges and golds and I absolutely love the way that it turned out. So um, I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you in my next video. Bye! All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get you zoomed in here. This entire tutorial is using the Kat Von D Monarch palette. Using the lightest matte shade in the palette and the M505 brush, I am going to start to highlight my brow bone. And this is just a matte shade, which I really like for highlighting. I usually don't do this first, but I decided to give it a go this time. Not only is this highlighting, but it's also creating a perfect base for our other shadows. I'm going to be going in with this shade right here, which just so happens to be my favorite shade in the palette. I think it is absolutely perfect for the crease area, and you really cannot do wrong with this shade at all. I'm just going to be buffing that all over my crease area, creating a circular um, kind of shape out of my crease. And I am using the Morphe M411 brush to do this. Um, you really can't go wrong with this shade, like I said, so just be giving and go all out. <laughs> Next we're going to be um, blending, of course, you guys already know, if you take anything out of this channel it's that you should blend and we're just using our original brush to do that. And of course now it's time for color. I'm going to be going in with this gorgeous shade. Um, it's like a red but it's like an orange. Like I'm not even sure what it is but whatever it is it is beautiful and it is absolutely crazy pigmented as you can see here. Um, I'm just going in with the e.l.f. smudge brush to do this. Um, it's kind of like a smaller shadow brush. I wanted to really be precise with this color. I'm taking it from my lash line all the way to my crease and making sure that it is extra, extra, extra pigmented. When you do this step, you really want to make sure that you do not go past your crease. So be very precise and take your time because you don't want to look a little cray cray, you know? Next, I'm going to be going in with that crease shade and the brush that we used for our crease. And I am just going to add some color and blend these together. Um, as you can see here, it starts to look really, really beautiful and blown out when I am doing this. Um, this is a very important step to make sure that it looks flawless. Can you guys guess what we're going to do next? We're going to darken it up with this really beautiful brown shimmer shade that is in this palette. I absolutely love this color so much. Well, I love the whole palette. <laughs> I am using the E17 brush from Morphe to do this and I'm just focusing on the very outer corner of my eye and I'm bringing it into the crease. As you can see here, it is darkening up very nicely. Which, of course, we always do the same to the other eye. As you can see here, I got some fallout, so I just grabbed my foundation brush and I am just dusting lightly just to get rid of any fallout um, that may have happened. And then back in with that E17 again and a little bit more product just to make sure that those outer corners are nice and dark. I am sure you guys could guess that once we are done with this, we are going to go back in with our blending brush, which is the first brush that we use, the M505, and we are just going to blow everything out and make sure that it is absolutely seamless. Weird face angles are absolutely acceptable when blending. <laughs> I'm going to go in with this gold from the palette. And this gold is very beautiful because it's almost like a sheer, like it's pigmented, but it's like a sheer gold. So I just decided to put it all over the shadows that I had just put on my lids just to soften it up and make it almost look, um, I don't even know what word I'm using. But anyways, I'm using the same brush that I used for the red shadow, just the smudge brush by e.l.f. And then, of course, we're going to go back in and blend again. I could totally skip over all of this blending, but I just want you guys to understand how important it is to blend after every single shadow. Now I'm going to be going in with the darkest shade of the palette. It is a matte black, and let me tell you, it is really black. I am going to be using this Morphe M508 brush. Um, it's basically like a small smudge brush, and I am going to create the effect of eyeliner except for with an eyeshadow. This is going to create a very soft look while still darkening up that lash line and making it a little bit more dramatic. This is a really really neat trick if you don't have time to mess with eyeliner or maybe you're just not on the mood, you don't have the patience, maybe you're a little jittery because you drank too much coffee. This is absolutely perfect um, for days like that. So we are just going to go back and forth um, to make that black opaque and I mean you really, I mean you, I'm sure you can mess this up but it's kind of hard to mess this up honestly because the black is so soft and on this smudge brush it just blends so effortlessly into the lash line. So have no fear if you give this a go, um, it's actually really easy. 
Next, I'm going to go in with my Mally Volumizing Mascara, which I absolutely love this stuff. You guys know it's my holy grail. And I'm just going to be applying um, a coat or two on both of my eyes. Um, you guys know how this goes. Now, if you guys don't like false lashes, you certainly don't have to apply them. This is what the look looks like without false lashes. Beautiful, but you know me, I like my lashes. <laughs> Next up, I'm just going back into the gold and I'm using the M431 brush and I'm just going to dust this really close to my lower lash line. Um, I really am trying to be precise with this and, um, you know, make sure it's opaque, but I also want it to be really close to my lash line. And of course, we are doing the same with that orangey red color, whatever you want to call it. Um, again, keeping this very close to the lash line. Next up, I am going to go back in with that brown shade, but this time, instead of doing it all over my lower lash line, I'm going to keep it to the outer third of my lower lash line, and then I'm going to be connecting all of the shadows by bringing it up onto my lid as well. I love doing this with looks because I feel like it just makes the look look so seamless. How many times can I say look? <laughs> Next, I'm just going to be blowing out the lash line, of course, um, with my blending brush, and of course, the top where we put those others as well. Um, no shame in over blending, you guys. Next up, I'm going to take my NYX Trust Jolie Liner. I absolutely love saying it like that. And I'm just going to tight line and do my waterline. This is just a regular old black liner. So any black liner you have is totally fine. There's not that much special about this one. <laughs> and then I'm going to take this shade right here. It is like a really soft silver metallic color, but it's like a soft metallic. And I'm using the G20 brush and I'm just going to highlight the inner corners. Um, the reason why I'm using a brush this time is to just be a little bit more precise. Um, I really just wanted it on that inner, inner corner. I already warned you guys I'd be going with lashes. These are the Kara number 43 lashes. And I'm just going to give you guys a quick glimpse about what it looks like with or without lashes. You can kind of see the difference here. It is totally a personal preference, so you do you, boo-boo. I'm just going to coat my lower lashes um, with mascara, and then the eyes are done. Moving on to the lips, those smoochers. I'm going to go in with this L, Ellie, I don't know how to pronounce it, uh, lip liner. It's in the shade 02, and I'm just going to coat my very cracked, terrible lips um, with some liner. I usually do not overdraw, but that is also personal preference. Girl, you do you. Now I'm going to be going in with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in London, and I'm just going to add a layer of that on top of my lip liner. You can do any color you want, but what I love about London is that whatever lip liner you use underneath it will completely change the color, and I love it. And once you finish the lips, this look is done. All right, you guys, that completes this look. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't wanna waste what's left